Hey! Welcome back. Surprise! It's, it's us again. Well, minus soup, unfortunately. Uh. But we've got to finish up this Act 1 because we've got a bunch of unfortunate Sundays coming up. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are. Who, who makes the decision to put like holidays like Father's Day and Independence Day on Sundays. Oh, These meaningless Sundays. days <laughs> that keep people from doing what they love. How dare they? But anyway, <laughs> we'll make up for it today with a rousing finale of this labyrinth under the tomb of Xander. Which is why we're going to call this one the Amazing Finish. Whoa. 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 Really going to go. Uh, Grab the bull by the horns, because he's he's wandering the maze. Where did we leave off? Last time, the Chosen, a.k.a. the bad guys, wandering through the maze, found a false tomb of Xander. But it was a mimic. But they took care of it pretty handily. And they pulled a mysterious lever. Where the sounds of grinding and turning seemed to cease. And now... Here they are in the maze, needing to leave this false tomb and finding the real one. But first, they hear booming throughout the maze the voice of Graxus the Minotaur. He says, I still smell dragon lords. I'm when I find you, I'm going to utterly destroy you. Get it? Bull. It's a, it's a yes. yes. <laughs> how how dare you? <laughs> How dare you yell that back at me? I'm full of mm, ox e. I don't get it. <laughs> Why is everyone oddly emphasizing their words? <laughs> it's something okay. we do here in Five Lane. No, okay. I'm learning so much. It's just what we do here. Yeah. Yeah. Gain, it gains everybody inspiration when they do it. You probably have a Whoa. Special. Um, so, you stand in this chamber, which is the false tomb of Xander, and, uh, you need to continue mm -hmm. going through the maze, trying to find the real tomb. So, group survival check time. Mm. Great. Uh, uh, can I guide on that? Sorry, Marty, can you... Can I guidance myself on that? Oh. I asked that before I rolled really good, but I'll still do it, because I would have. If it's a group check, yes. Ooh, it's only, only going to help. Uh, 14 for me. 14. No, okay. yes, 14. 14, 14. Uh, and drum, uh, what'd you get? 10. <laughs> uh, uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Naya. I rolled a four. I'm so upset. And Delta will just take twenty, right? She's part of the group still. Right. So um twenty-four. Twenty-four? Okay. There we go. Heroes? Twenty-one. Twenty-one. I think that's a couple of outlander boys. boys. Yeah, I think I that's my first non roll this one off. That's my first <laughs> non garbage survival roll though. Okay. Alright, so you navigate the maze a bit further, and you come across, eventually, another room. This room, even before you get to it, you can smell the stink of blood. And as you come upon the room, you see that there are animal carcasses and slabs of meat that hang from the ceiling on heavy chains. Two of the hanging bodies appear to be those of human civilians. Oh, no, I'm right. They almost look like <laughs> some of the farmers that you saw back when you were out in the open around, around the area of Astoria. The stone floor here is stained black by centuries of bloody appetites. Oh, this appears to be the lair of Graxus the Minotaur. It's a very organized butcher. Got chain set up. Mm -hmm. That takes like work, design. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, he's got to get up on a bench to chang that shit. He, he's been here a while. <laughs> I guess. It's just not what you think of when you think of a minotaur. You think they're just, you know, roaming around. Mm-hmm. Not like fi- like thinking about their space as a fixer-upper. It's kind of interesting. Right. Anyway. Uh, okay. So no survivors, just hunks of meat? Yep. Uh, everything looks old? smells old or is it freshy or it's um it's not you wouldn't you wouldn't <laughs> classify it as fresh but you right. would say oh this is it it has to be within the last month at least no older right than a month. right and, and certainly the past couple of weeks so our check to find the this part of the labyrinth did that include any sort of spotting of footprints hoof prints like directional uh, directional clue or is it all just back and forth kind of stuff or as you as you got closer to this room you definitely noticed hoof prints yeah like blood stained right. hoof prints eventually they trail off into nothing but right okay uh do we have detect minotaur anyone um, I was going to say, Nerex, if you're if you're interested in in you know sort of scoping out the room, you could you give a little investigation check. I think I will. Um, you know, sort of rip open little pieces of meat. Period. Oh yeah, with my three, but I have an inspiration, so I'm going to burn that right now, oh. and and roll a twelve, which is a market improvement. So that is with a bonus of oh seven. So that is a nineteen. Oh okay. <clears throat> okay. I, um. There, there's, there's not a lot here outside of you know sort of this uh, meat gallery. <laughs> Can say for lack of a better meat. term, you, you don't even notice a bed. It's like, uh, is, is it this? like a meat hammock? <laughs> no, no, there's. <laughs> it's nasty. Oh, that'd be awful. No, there's there's like no bed at all. It's like meat and. Um, there is um, sort of stashed away in one of the corners of the room um, sort of this collection of baubles and coins that apparently mm-hmm. the Minotaur keeps. Um, you you find in a bag that has 600 copper, 254 silver, 115 gold pieces, and then there are six pieces of random jewelry uh, that look like the style that folks of the lands of Astoria would wear. And they are worth 25 gold pieces each. Hmm. What, do you want to wait for it to come back? I mean, we are technically would be stealing his stuff if he's not dead yet. Right. So we'll kill him first. It's a really a formality, is what you're yeah. saying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's an ethical order to do this in, I think. Is right. It's, Otherwise, it's, the it's just dibs. not done. It's just you, not you done. You steal from the oppressed people. It's and not then how you murder someone. <laughs> no, no, it's the other <laughs> way around. Steal their stuff. That's right. You have to you have to murder them first, and then steal their stuff. Don't steal their stuff and murder them. Well, then it's first. Like scavenger <laughs> rights or something. You can consider it first. You free them from oppression forever, right? The oppression <laughs> of capitalism, which and hasn't even leaving. happened yet, or something. Yes, that—that's <laughs> such a drag. I mean, to exhale after you've inhaled again and again and again. Yeah, um, um, I can detect Minotaur. I don't think know. just like I can detect traps, though. So. Oh right. Um, <laughs> um, if you f- I, fall into a minotaur and get impaled on it, you find. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I can scream for him. Yeah. Mm. Are minotaurs monstrosities? Uh, no, probably. No. Hi. I was gonna say because that cause that means Andromeda might be able to detect oh, yes. them. Let me Duh. let me yes. let me see what let me see what Graxus is. He's a he's a special stat block minotaur. Uh, I, I think I can also use my prime evil awareness to just 
sense anything for a minute. Oh, but wait, it's aberrations, celestials, dragons, elementals, fey, fiends, and an undead. Yeah. It is a specific list. Uh, let's see here. So... Almost too specific. <laughs> different than it used to be, isn't it? Oh, okay, so... Yeah, he's... He's a monstrosity. <laughs> I thought maybe he was like a flavor of undead, but no, he's kind of just a cursed minotaur, so... Still a monstrosity. Okay. Which means I have an advantage to track him. Oh, good. Okay. okay. So what's the plan? Are you going to wait here for him? Or are you going to go hunt him down? Or are you just going to continue navigating the maze? Well, we... I don't know. I want to spend as little time in this room as absolutely possible. So I'm in favor of tracking him. And it feels more sporting that way. But otherwise, yes, we could establish a some kind of ambush here or whatever. He has the advantage in the labyrinth because it's his, his thing, right? That's true. He literally has advantages in there, I think. <laughs> and what's the dimension of the labyrinth relative to the dimension of this room? Isn't this room larger and more maneuverable? And yes, that's that like more contained and he's a big dude probably, so... Yeah, um, the maze <clears throat> itself is like uh, it's, it's five by five, you know, right. file type of navigation. Tight, right. Yep. Right. Uh, so this, this whoever's in is... front or in the back is going to be in trouble. <laughs> yeah, this room is <laughs> Unless like 25 he comes from by the top. 25, so it's it's pretty Right. Pretty um, I think that's so smart. We could stage an ambush for him or try to. Sorry, it's this thing on my head that's just making me think this way. <laughs> um, <laughs> there there are uh, three there are three entrances and exits. Uh, flash entrances exits to this room. Well, there are what? Seven of us, so that's good. Um um. <laughs> uh, is there any lava in this room? <laughs> no. I have no plans. No then, lava. So everybody else can think of something. Um, I would like to point out that a call back to I think our first episode. We also have three hunting traps. We oh, can yeah. set one at each. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's a great <laughs> fucking idea. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'm going to go over to one of the entrances and start setting up my hunting trap. I'll, okay. I'll do the same on a different entrance. All right. Uh, you like survival for that, or do you have something else you prefer? Um, yeah, I think survival probably makes the most. Okay. Uh, I'm going to guide myself again. Because it's been a minute. Gonna, oh, I boy. There was um, an action what? to set it. You are the greatest survivalist ever naya <laughs> what did you roll with the like uh, i rolled two d4s in on guidance in a row i rolled a 25 right on oh wow well you I are a seven survival will fear like a, yeah a i occasionally forget being, that i'm not playing a druid but yes i'm a nature being who was raised You're by like, druids exactly you're more of a survivalist than the actual <laughs> ranger <laughs> well you you learned it. She is it. You know? well, and, and I remember flavoring the going through the maze is just constantly like raising off the ground and being like that way. Um, I think the same thing whenever she's about to make a, a misstep with the hunting trap, you know, she sees it going terribly with herself caught in the hunting trap and is like, I won't do that. <laughs> Could you so pan your vision sorry. over just to, to Kiros to maybe give him a little because <laughs> he's caught in it probably. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> it's not that bad, but it's not great. Uh, what'd you get, Kira? I got an eight. Ooh. Oh. To set your trap? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. It's better than the first time I tried to set it when I got a one. So Were you mm -hmm. raging Were you raging when you set it? <laughs> Probably. It's so mad. None of this meat is... <laughs> none of this, all this meat is people. I don't eat people. <laughs> Rotten people. Who's too. who's setting the third trap? Um, it would have to be me. But I was thinking of leaving the third entrance sort of open, so that way we have like 
a way of egress in case not... things go wrong. <laughs> yeah, so you're not all trapped in there behind hunting. But trees. we know where the trap is. I mean, if you know, how big is the trap? It just is, is it something you can avoid if you know where it is? Yeah, <laughs> like, it's not like, oh, shit. It's set like a, up. It's or... like one of those like traditional sawtooth. Oh, like, right. Okay. Right? Cartoon. Yeah. It's like a bear yeah. trap. Yeah. 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 No, no fun to get caught in, I'm sure. Uh, Jaws yeah, and death. I think the way we came should be relatively the safest to leave open because that's also the way we know how to get back. Yeah. So if we have to retreat, that's the way we do it. I, I would unless, I would be okay with unless that. Unless he was behind us the whole time. Which is possible. Right. Okay, so you're going to leave that one open. Yeah. All right. Uh, what else have are you going to do to prepare ready besides, to uh, besides setting up these traps? Anything else that we're doing? Uh... Uh, I will say that if we hear him coming soon, I will give a inspiration to uh, Kuros. Oh, okay. But I don't want to do it until I know that I'm not going to give it to him and then have it elapse. You know, mm-hmm. I'll wait until it's like, okay, here he comes. So I'll give him inspiration, which means if initiative happens, you can throw it on that too. Um, are we going to be piloting Delta, or are we going to just fight without Delta? Um, I was thinking fight without Delta, but okay. Kira might have some things. <laughs> okay, that would that would be strange. It would be the first. Anyway, um, okay, then I will cast aid at the. Can I afford it at the third level? I will. You'll cast... be able to. You'll be able to cast sending. <laughs> a real problem. Um, no, I'll cast it at the second level. So every uh, everyone I can see who's not myself gets a uh, gets five extra hit points. Thanks. And that alters our current maximum hit points, right. right? That does stack with temporary because it's actually altering your maximum. It's not giving you temporary. It, it's a very strange. But oh, I'm so... glad they did that. Well, right now so it will stack with your temporary. And that means if you get healing, you heal up to that point yeah. for right. eight hours. Whereas temporary would shed off and yeah. wouldn't be regained. Well, right so. now, I have 69 hit points. Nice. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did that wrong. Thank you. Of course. Do we want to try and draw it, draw it in, or do we want to act like we're not here? No, yeah, I think we should. It, he's hunting for us. We can probably goad him by just being like, "We're here, you big dum dum. We're touching all your human meat. We're touching all your meat. <laughs> yeah. We're touching it. I'm clawing at it. It's all. It's all mine now. It's, it's our meat. Damn. Yeah. You can't have it. Okay. <laughs> all right. Yeah. You. You hear him storming back to his lair. Okay. The I, sounds I of give the inspiration. Give- on stone. Give the inspiration. Now, which which door does it sound like it's coming from? Do we know? Is it well, a trapped entrance? That's what we're about to gonna... find out. <laughs> but okay. doom, but doom. Ready? And <laughs> the one that's not trapped. Oh, no, great! <laughs> the one <laughs> door that yep. you guys literally came in. He was trailing. That means our like. I knew it. Up. He was behind it. Oh, so we're all like got our backs to that entrance, waiting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Any yes, second now. Smell him. He's here Any somewhere. Any second right. now. Yeah. Okay. Like, I'm just going <laughs> to open up the back of my armor. I just want to air out my back for some reason. Yeah. yeah. So this, uh, this large monstrosity of a minotaur comes storming in through the untrapped entrance into his lair. And <clears throat> he's pretty much what you would expect. A very gruff, furry, mean... Minotaur looking Minotaur. Uh, he wields what appears to be a uh, elaborate and ornate great axe. Tips. Um, and he also has uh, what appears to be a very elaborate uh, shield, which has the face of a lion on it. That's right. Really and Kira glances and, and she's like, uh oh, he's, he's wielding some of the weapons of Xander. <laughs> Okay, well, we yes. need Xander. We need those. 
Get that stuff back. Hey, Kira. Kira, we need yes. those, right? Yeah. Yeah, those are the ones. Okay. Um, Graxus storms in and is like, no, now it is time for me to kill you. How dare you touch my meat? <laughs> like, uh... Uh, how, does this bother you? I'm touching all of it. How dare you fondle my rump roast? Oh no! <laughs> so firm. It's butt steak. I would, <laughs> I would like to say it's a pleasure to meet you. Oh snap! No boom. Inspiration. Roll for initiative. I need it. I need it. I needed to bank that just then. That was good. Pretty well. Dirty seventeen. Holy okay. shit! <laughs> Do you pay D and D Beyond for your dice, Marty? <laughs> Man, <laughs> I know he has these weirdly lucky dice. For the it's drum it up. Where you at? I did pay money for them. Maybe they're. Uh, they, I, oh, <laughs> pay I did buy a dice set. <laughs> pay <Yeah>. to win. <laughs> Sorry, I dropped it. Sorry. I rolled an eight. An eight. eight. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, let me let me put Kira in the order. Usually, I ask Delta, but in her place, does she have? It's not spoiling to kill someone's character if they're not here. Okay. So Get the Kira NPC will, in there. Kira will act at sixteen. Um. Who else we got? Kiros. Twelve. Well, for Kiros. Okay. Naya? Natural 22. Oh, wow. Yeah. Special time. And Nerex? 17. 30, 17. Oh, what's your... What's your dex modifier, Nerex? Plus 4. That's my initial modifier. You will go for Graxus. Nice. I got plans for Very Graxus. Good. Okay. Uh, so here's Graxus standing... Uh, wielding uh, a magical great axe and a magical shield mm -hmm. and staring you all down as you fondle his meat. <laughs> Naya. <laughs> okay. Um, 22. Yes. I will... I feel like this is like a, like a, a fantasy themed like snap into a Slim Jim <laughs> you know what yeah i will um action economy wise i think this is my best use i will cast bless on the three of you thank wow you. thank you and then i will run back to the entrance that my trap uh was in front of and jump over the trap to be on the other side of it okay <laughs> smart <laughs> <laughs> Naya placing a trap between herself and the Minotaur. Absolutely. All right. Uh, uh, and that should be me. Yep. Okay. At 17, Nerex. Okay. Uh, so the Minotaur is behind, like, looking at us. He's all pissed off. Uh, I'm going to say, come here, you big dummy. Come here. And I'm going to fly towards the other doorway where the trap is over the trap. I'm going to mm. say, come and get me. Come and get me, you big dummy. Are you, you flying towards dummy? Naya or towards the one no, Kiro set? Towards the other one, the one Kiro set. Um, and, make, an uh, make an intimidation check for me. Near. Great. Uh, I'm trained in intimidation. But I rolled a nine. So that is a 14. 14. All right. That, uh -huh. that beats a contested check that I rolled. So you've oh, got cool. his attention. Great. Uh, so I'm trying to lure him after me. Um, Seems like I, you're doing that well. Great. Uh, now, is that an action to do that, or is that a bonus to action? No, that's your. your that's just me being a dick. That's okay. That's part of your me, move. We'll that's part of my move. <laughs> great. That's cool. Um, so I would like to also cast heat metal on his axe. So um, oh. he is going to take. That's right. Mm. Burning damage, I will visit on uh, he. So he's going to take, uh, oh, pretty good, um, 11 points of fire. And if he wants to hang on to his axe, 
he's got to make a uh, con save. If he choo- but he'll keep taking the damage if he holds yep. on to it. But yep. DC 15 con if he wants to do it. DC 15 con. Here we go. He's going to Yeah, I'm sure that's not going to be a problem for him. <laughs> oh, he didn't roll very well. Uh, huh. That's an 11. That means he drops his axe. Tink, 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 tink. I blew a spell slot, but now he can't pick up his axe. Well, I guess he can try and pick it up again. But yeah. he's dropped his weapon, and he's got his shield in the other hand. God, if only I had twin spell hit both of them. Anyway, <laughs> um, <laughs> right? Um, I yeah. think that's my turn. I moved. Uh, I can bonus action. Kiros has one. I'm going to give one to uh, Andromeda, too. So you also have inspiration. Yep. Uh, it is a D6 level, I believe. No, D8, because we're at 5th, right? Can't roll 1s, is that correct? Can't roll a 1. It's a 2 or higher. Okay. Yep. Okay. So now All it's right. his, his turn. Is he going to come after me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> is he, he going to try and pick up his axe first? Nope. Oh, he's good. Gonna lower his horns and charge. Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, they're chargers. He's, he's got built-in weapons. Okay, Great. <laughs> so let's let's think this through. All right, he's going to lower his head, got his shield. He's going to leave the axe on the floor for now. He's going to charge. He's going to run into the trap first, the one that Hero set. <laughs> All right, I let's set see it what happens here. down. I don't know if I triggered it. <laughs> I was gonna say something, but maybe that's how they set traps outside of Thalia. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're yes. supposed to put the cheese in the trap. I ate the cheese. He's like, he's like eating. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I was just imagining it had like a hair trigger. It was just it's been vibrating like the whole time. Yeah. One of a feather drops on it and just right. snaps shut. I fly over it and it snaps on you. Yeah. <laughs> Where he puts its teeth down so that when it snaps, it jumps up and it surprises people. That's really, <laughs> yeah. really. It's going to hit him, sh- hit him in the shins. That's going to hurt. Okay, so he charges. <clears throat> he steps on the edge of the trap, which kicks it up in the air, and uh-huh. it hasn't triggered yet. But actually, Nerex, it comes flying directly in your direction. <laughs> I need you to make a dexterity that's, saving throw. Of me. course, that's not that's how that's that. supposed to work. It's cool. Uh, you do uh, have plus four on that because you're blessed. Oh, that's plus D four, not four. Plus right, plus D four. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's make that plus D four, plus well, plus three. So that is a uh, nineteen. Oh, okay. You you nimbly dodge out of the way of this Yay. trap. Yay! It hits the wall, snaps, and closes behind you, and, and tumbles. And, <laughs> and now he's coming into after the you. dark of the maze. Uh, great, great. Can now, go find as it. that gonna, happens, as you dodge out of the way of the trap. Now you see a minotaur head <laughs> coming straight at you, and it's charging yeah. you recklessly, which means he gets advantage. That's right. And yeah, he hits AC twenty one. You know, Kabam. Okay. Right. Um, this is going to be twenty two piercing damage. Oh, that's great. And he <laughs> sends you sort of ricocheting down the hall. <laughs> of the oh maze. great! Oh, does he? Does he? Uh, is it like force movement? He mm-hmm. shoots me down. How far do I go? Uh, let's say about ten feet. You bounce off some okay. walls. Okay, cool. Ooh. That's all right. So I have twenty-one out of forty-three. So I'm at about I'm at about half. Um, and that's counting your aid. Uh, yeah, that's yeah, counting the aid. Okay. The aid. Yep. Okay. Um, thank you again for that and for the um, uh, the bonus, the bless. Okay, mm-hmm. cool. Uh, yeah. Kabam. All right, so Nerex, I'm sorry, not Nerex, Graxus is standing with his back now at that entrance to the rest of you. And, oh, now it's Kira's turn. Kira says, don't worry, I've got some magic. But my magic doesn't work how you think normal magic works, because I can't, I'm not allowed, there's something that's stopping me from, you know, being of assistance directly to you. So my magic kind of works like a wand of wonder. Who knows what'll happen? <laughs> Great. <laughs> Heroes, since, since, you know, I feel I'm a giving DM, I want to allow you, Heroes, to roll 1d100 one, one this turn to see how Kira might help out. Brad. 
Oh no. <laughs> love this wand of one like prime directive informed wand of wonder reaction. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I got to a four. Oh, four wow. on a D one hundred. On a D one hundred. Okay. <clears throat> All good. Uh so it'd be a great divine intervention role. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I need everybody to make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> Brad. <laughs> It's going to be the Toshes or some shit. Uh, 19 plus 0. 19. What did I say? A wizard. You can use plus yes. for that, right? That's true. Um, oh, you yeah, can, you can use, use plus. plus. Oh, man. Oh, let me figure out what the DC is. Uh, I'll take it. Uh, 22 for me, total, with including the plus. 22. That's really high. I wish I knew what it was for. Because, <sighs> man, I really want to. I'm going to use my inspiration. Uh, can I use inspiration on that? <laughs> sure. Mm-hmm. If you've got inspiration oh, God, to use, worse. use it up. You can take well, the I best got... of inspiration. You, you can, yes. It is Eric's advantage. Did. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, yeah you, oh, have you, the, mean, you have your bardic. Yep. Yeah, the bardic yeah. is a D8. Okay. <laughs> What'd you roll? Uh, combined... I With bless? rolled oh, shit. a 10. <laughs> With bless. <laughs> and with bless. Oh my god. Rolled, and your inspiration? Uh, and with bless. <laughs> god. Yeah. Alright, so Andromeda's at a 10. That, that's a failure. Uh, uh, Heroes, where are you at? 17. Ba-boom. Okay. A miracle. The, the DC is 18, my friend. What? Oh. Oh, shit. Really? <laughs> Uh, Naya? Well, she's a, high, she's a well, big caster. Okay. And Anirix, you rolled high. You said you were in the 20s. 20. 22. You, yep. you saved. All right, Graxus also failed. So, <clears throat> a slow spell encapsulates the entire room <laughs> and emanates throughout part of the labyrinth. And uh, it looks like an affected target's speed is halved. Mm-hmm. Okay, and a minus two penalty to AC and deck saving throws. Okay. And you can't use reactions. Correct. I oh, love no. that. Because that guy's <laughs> On your right turn, you me. can either use a, an action or a bonus action, but not both. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't have gone <laughs> after me, Kira? <laughs> oh, and regardless of the creature's abilities or magic items, it can't make more than one melee or ranged attack. But we just became level turn. five. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. Did it help? What was it? Tell me. How do you feel? Everyone's like, feel really <laughs> weird. Except me. I'm like, what the fuck's happening? Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> maybe she. Maybe Let you think she cast head harder than you thought, Nerex. Yeah. Maybe. Doesn't... Maybe she cast haste on Nerex. I don't know. Yeah. Right. Exactly. But no. If you I'm attempt fast. to cast. So if you attempt to cast a spell with a casting time of one action, you have to roll a d20. And on an 11 or higher, the spell doesn't take effect until the creature's next turn. Yep. I love them. Oh, you can make wisdom saving throws at the end of each of your turns. Oh, thank you. No, I'll never save out of that. If 17 didn't work. And And was 17 only going to be blessed? Yeah. with it's class, only going to yeah. be up for one yeah. minute, guys. It's not like it's going to last forever. It's going to last the entire oh. combat. Oh. But, but don't worry, it's only going to rest the rest of our lives. <laughs> the Minotaur is also <laughs> the Minotaur is also slow. It's that's good. Yes. Let's yeah. Hope it's not very he, wise. But like, he can't do. Uh, that might be the only thing he has going for him besides well, yeah. strength and con and okay. odor. But he, it probably um, means he can't charge. That's good. Yeah. Heroes. Call me oh. <laughs> Okay, well, slow specifically fucks barbarians, so <laughs> I can't rage and attack. I guess I'll just attack. I think that's the right. That's crazy priority. good. Hold on, I get to add to it. <laughs> so wait, you're gonna wait. You're gonna. How much movement do you have now? <laughs> well, okay. Well, I am very fast. I have forty-five normally, so just cut oh, that in yeah, half. Yeah. So twenty-three. And you did say I think it was a twenty-five by twenty-five. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um. So I will roll a twenty-eight to hit. 
Oh my god. Yeah, oh my that's god. It. Actually, being slow is really helping Kiros. <laughs> I'm <laughs> aiming. <Focus. laughs> right? And the Minotaur's like, oh no. <laughs> he can't move. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, for 12 slashing damage. Uh, and then I can try and save out of it. Yes. Okay. Wisdom saving throw. Don't you have a? Didn't you say he was attacking me recklessly? Does that mean? Oh, that that's true. right. You want to crit fish? Everybody has everybody has advantage against. Let try. Let me crit fish. Yeah, first attack was better. First, second attack was still pretty good. Yeah, first really attack good, was better. But... Uh, but I rolled. Let's see. I rolled a six plus a d four. Now, uh, nine total. That's not worth an inspiration. Yeah. So I'm still slowed. Okay. Uh, Andromeda at eight. <laughs> Slowly take aim. So Andromeda. what can I do? <laughs> so and does so the I bird can count one as attack. an action or a bonus action? But not both. Oh, yeah. Oh. Does the bird get a save Is Nicodemus too? slowed? Oh. Uh, it's a does he have a wisdom score? Does he have a wisdom score? Robot's gonna be slowed, right? Yeah. Where's my bird? Uh, Lobot. Dimfe. Ah, uh, do do do. He does have a wisdom score. Should I roll? Well, it's, his wisdom score is only eight, though. <laughs> <laughs> he might. Yeah. He might get out. Should I roll to see if he was slowed? Natural 20. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. It's just to roll an 18 or higher. Burp, burp, right? That's burp, burp. Burp. Oh, no. Uh, 19 or higher. Now with a 7. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> nope. Okay. Nicodemus is also slowed. Weird. Okie dokie. So she did some weird time magic on us. I'm all fast. I don't know what's yeah. going on. It's... <laughs> she can't taste onion ears. It's great. I feel like, I, I feel like I'm going to freak out. <laughs> I'm like, really? panicking a little bit. Your heart's just beating like a hummingbird. <laughs> What's happening? I'm gonna die. Now, now imagine if everybody else is still slowed and Nerex had haste cast on him. <laughs> oh my god. Unstoppable. <laughs> Insane. <laughs> and reverse gravity. Right. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, um, so what do you think, Andromeda? Uh, you're, gonna, you're gonna use an action or a bonus action? Yes, I will use. So I don't think any of my spells do anything. So I guess I'll just use. I'll just whack it with. Or I'll uh, stab it with arrows. Stab it with arrows. <laughs> I'm still blessed, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hawkeye did that to Wanda. Oh my gosh. Uh. Oh, you have advantage because it attacked recklessly. You do have advantage. That's right. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> she immediately rolls again. Yeah, oh, good. much better. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a five the first time, and now I rolled a seventeen. I was like, "That's much better." Much. So that is oh, a with bless. Yeah. Twenty something. Yeah. Lots of numbers. That's a successful hit. Mm -hmm. Piercing damage, please, Andromeda. Uh, five. <laughs> five piercing. All right, your arrow strikes true. <clears throat> so does Nicodemus get to act, or does that take a bonus action for you to make Nicodemus act? How does that work? I think he goes on his own. Okay. At least that's what I thought we've been treating it okay. as. Yeah, I couldn't remember. That's good. So Nicodemus gets an action or a bonus action. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, you, can make a, you can make your wisdom saving throw for yourself, too, if you want to see if you're still oh. safe. Mm-hmm. Uh, With bless. Let me do. Let me do the wisdom saving throw then first. Huh. Uh, -huh. uh. Plus bless. That's a thirteen. Yeah, with bless. I keep rolling ones on my D four. Mm. That's a no. Okay, so let me see if Nicodemus hits. Uh, 
So that and he's gonna use his I guess he used to use talons just to like scratch out the guy's uh the top of his head. Okay. So that's a twenty three to hit. Yep, that's a hit. He must flies in. <laughs> Uh, a very slow flyby. <laughs> <laughs> and he does two damage. Okay. All right. Hey, damage is damage. Graxus has taken it all. Uh, <clears throat> and since he did do a hit, he gets to be a distracting nuisance. So the creature cannot make opportunity attacks until the beginning of its next turn. Okay. Well, Graxus is slow and doesn't have reactions anyways, but... But even if he saves out of the slow now... If he, he does can... come out of the slow, he still won't be able to take off a chance right. attack. Okay. Perfect. Just thought that counts. Mm-hmm. Oh, do you want to make a follow-up wisdom saving throw for Nicodemus to see if oh. Nicodemus becomes <laughs> unslowed? I mean, you have to roll a 19 You're going to have to roll really high, yeah, but it could happen. Which I did! Nice. Oh! <laughs> Nicodemus breaks out of it. The, the least likely. <laughs> It just doesn't affect <laughs> birds the same way, I guess. Yeah. Birds and bird people. Automatic birds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, so we're back to the top of the round. Slow Naya. <laughs> Standing on the, other, the, on, the, on the opposite side of your trap that you set. Yes. Seeing all um, this go down. What do you think? I'm, I'm caught in so many mid-screams. Um... <laughs> <laughs> what's the, what's the uh, what's the process for casting a spell? Uh, you can cast it. You just have to roll a d twenty if the casting time is one action. Okay, and what uh, to see the... if it takes effect this turn or next turn? Okay, uh, then I'm going to roll a d twenty to try to cast guiding bolt at uh, the back of the minotaur. Okay, I'm gonna have to unpin the call from being on top. There we go. Uh, I don't know what I'm looking for here, but it's uh, gross. It's a three. Oh, a three means this turn. Oh, good. Very That's good. Eleven or higher. Eleven. Or, it's just basically like a fifty-fifty. Yeah, eleven yeah. or higher means it would have happened next turn. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to cast it at the first level, and I'm going to roll with advantage because he still acted recklessly last time. Oh, you actually have to you have to use your action on your next turn if you roll an eleven or higher to actually complete the spell. And if you can't, Oof. the spell's wasted. <laughs> Let's see, I got a oh, natural it's, one. It's actually good to roll low on a roll like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I got okay. a natural one and a nineteen plus seven, twenty six. Twenty six. What for okay, yes. And then I will roll four D six. Twenty six is good. And that's eleven radiant damage. Okay. And he glows, uh, so anyone, uh, the next attack on him will be at advantage. Um, oh, actually, Nerex, you go before him. I was like, that'll be great, because then the Reckless will wear off, and then, mm. but still, take double secret advantage. Um, right. Shoot, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, do you want to do something else? else? No, <laughs> I, I don't know. Guiding Bolt's still a lot of damage for a first level spell. Yeah. It's a great spell. Um, no, I'll, I'll stick with it. And if you, if you, if you find a way to not directly attack, if there's a saving throw or something, but you don't know that, I will then remake my wisdom roll. Come on, I'm very good at this. Ugh, not today. Okay, I'm still slowed. Okay, still slowed. All right. Yep, Nerex, you're up. Uh, Seventeen. I'm going to cast Dispel Magic and try and get rid of this slow effect. Oh, okay. Um, unless we think it's working for us. No, thank Barely? you. Barely? <laughs> yeah, okay. So I think I just need to roll... It's a third level spell, right? Slow? Uh, so does it just automatically? Is it automatically just get dispelled? So then? any spell of third level or lower on the target. Yep. Is. Okay, so I get rid of it. Pop, it's done. So you, but actually, well, first before I, before that happens, yeah. I want to go past him. <laughs> uh, oh. So he can't, he can't, he can't take a reaction. I want to go past him first. Okay. Right. Um, so you're gonna fly back into the room. I'm gonna fly back into the room. Okay. Uh, 
and then uh, yeah, get some distance. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna dispel. Your action is dispelling the slow. Is effect, dispelling so. the slow. Boom. Yep. No more slow. Everybody's out of slow. Yep. Thank and you. so that means the next attack thing still works. Still has it's not, it's not for me. It's for right. someone else. Excellent. Now, there's a big so, glowing weak spot on his back. Right. You um, have to know that's where you hit him. So you have a bonus <laughs> action left for Nerex. Right? I do have a bonus action. Um, I am going to sustain. Should I do the? Yeah, I'm going to sustain the heat metal on the uh, with a bonus action on the. Um, Axe, in case he gets ideas about picking it up and using it. Oh, okay. So, so I'm just gonna, gonna just gonna really. keep keep concentration on that for now, uh, okay. and keep uh, my distance, and, and that's my turn. <clears throat> okay, that's okay. perfect. Great. So Graxus, who is no longer slowed, still upset with Nerex. I'm gonna say. Yeah. Because I just zipped past him and he saw me and he was like, I want to get him, but I can't. Yep. Yeah, he's still infuriated by you and you, and you know, doing your little... I am. And I'm going to be like, I'm going to be like, him. why don't you pick up your axe and come get me, you big yeah. wuss? Let's see. <laughs> he didn't go why to you... six years of Taurus Tech to be called dummy. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but you, Birdman. Hi, yeah, Birdman. If that is your real name. <laughs> All right. He's going to start by using a bonus action. Find out he's a caster. He's going to fireball me. Mm. <laughs> no, he's he's going to use a shield. Mm. Oh, so, Captain America? What? Let me see who this catches. Each creature in a 15 foot cube originating from you. Let's make a con saving throw. All right, so his shield has Thunder Wave in it. So oh. he's, boom! Oh. He activates his shield and woof! <laughs> throughout the whole room, which I think is basically everybody, needs to make a con right. saving throw. Yep. I'm outside of the room. Am well, I with you? 15? You are at the doorway. Let me think. So he's in the middle. Uh, he said let's, he's let's the, die is, side. Okay. He in the doorway of the other trap? Uh, a natural he... one. So you are just barely in the 15 foot. <laughs> so con saves from everybody. Uh, okay. Uh, with bless. With bless. Yeah. Uh, 19. All right, so... I have Thanks one the, job uh... on this ship. It's, it's silly, but I'm going to do it. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> All right, exactly. <laughs> I love Galaxy Quest. <clears throat> okay. She doesn't get enough credit for that role. What's, I got you what's so good. Good. Everyone is so good in that movie. So yeah. good. Alan Rickman and Sam Rockwell. That's <laughs> so amazing. Oh, you Tony have the last head. name, Nerex. The, the head of the <laughs> lion on the head of the lion on the shield roars when the thunder wave goes. Uh, yeah. I can go oh, better than you. Um, are you gonna roar back at this? I shield? might. <laughs> <laughs> you have one, don't you? Yeah, I do. Yeah, and I can bonus action now. So, <coughs> huh? You're not real. Real lions aren't metal. So there's no stated DC. So this would be a first level. Oh, it's an item. Item DC. Yeah. They're usually just. DC 15, I think, yep. is a default. That's, that's what I'm going to say. All right, so let's start. Andromeda, where you at? Uh, 18. Oh, 18. So you've succeeded on a successful save. The creature takes half as much. Okay, all right, great. So what about you? Force Kuros? damage, right? Uh, th uh, thunder damage, I think. Thunder damage. Uh, all right. Uh, 29. Oh, that's a successful wow. save. Okay, so thunder damage. So six thunder damage. Uh, okay. You're welcome for the bless. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, Naya? Naya? Oh, uh, I didn't make one. You exempt. Oh, okay. oh yeah, okay. And uh, Nerex? Uh, 19. Oh, 19. Okay, so you've saved. You take six thunder damage as well. 
Okay. Thunder. That's his Ouch. bonus action. And now he's going to recklessly use his gore attack against Nerex. Nice. That uh, red he, hot rat attacks is right he, in his path. He, he is on? engaged with uh, Kiro, so yeah. he gets an attack of opportunity. Do I get an attack of opportunity? That's right, sure. Okay, cool. Yeah, since you're no longer slowed. With advantage. And you have advantage on the attack because he is glowing. Oh my god. Uh, let, me, let me roll twice to see if I crit fish. No. But I'm going to once again roll. Hold on. Uh, a 29 to hit. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, uh, for Kaboom! six slashing damage. Always disappointing when a d12 rolls low. Mm-hmm. How much was it? Six. Chris swinging. Just six. Well, but that's what makes it them was fun. Like a free six. Yeah. 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 Oh, totally. A little, a little I get my full easier. turn in a second. Okay. <laughs> so that happens. He charges and gores and hits AC twenty five Nerex. So... Oh my god. Um... <laughs> that that's cool. is another twenty two piercing damage. I am down. Boom. Boom. Fuck. I'm right. at neg- by negative seven. Okay. <clears throat> All right. The, oh. I did my job. I goaded him. I made him That's see right. red. And the concentration goes down on the uh, on the uh, axe. Heat metal. Okay. Yeah. Gra- Grax says, I think I'm going to have buffalo wings tonight for dinner. He's <laughs> a bird. What? That's not a buffalo. Does anybody have a side of ranch? <laughs> <laughs> uh, terrible. The farm. Oh, I don't understand. Don't, don't worry, Nerex. You have... All of this meat going bad. Really? You're going to eat the fresh? Well, I guess I can't blame you. Oh, don't worry, Nerex. Kira's here to help. Why don't you roll a D100? <laughs> oh, shit. Please don't roll a four. A cloud of 600 oversized butterflies fills a 30-foot radius centered on the target. The area becomes heavily obscured, and the butterflies remain for ten minutes. Oh shit! Oh, well, Linus so just got I a whole lot harder. Out. I bleed out while no one can find me. Basically, that's right. Thanks, this is Kira. like the, yeah, this is the end of some avant-garde movie where Nerix just sees butterflies <laughs> landing on his face, and we're all like, "Someone save him!" Chest compression. <laughs> right, and it's like the. In the background, yeah, the you're in like a rules. field. <laughs> um, yeah. I would like okay. to say that I like this though. Uh, Kiros, you're amongst a bunch of butterflies, <laughs> and you can't really see a whole lot. Do you have the butterfly <laughs> fighting <laughs> fighting style. Everyone, uh, is, I'm scared. Heavily. <laughs> 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 Heavily obscured. Uh, yeah. Can I, I? I don't even know if I can get to the stupid Minotaur. Um, oh, so a creature effectively suffers from the blinded condition. Okay. Uh, so. Okay. All attack Dude, rolls have disadvantage. Attack rolls Dude. against. But everybody's in it, so everybody else is blind, so everybody has advantage on attack rolls against them. So that's that's twice now. Out. She's fucked everybody with two spells. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah I'm starting to... We're going to keep her to the back. I kind of glare at Kira. Great. You're very powerful. You don't know what the hell you're doing. Please go Please. to the back. Please keep your hands to yourself. Here, here's a candy. Kira's is very... Suck on this toffee. Sus Does anybody of... have a cleansing fireball? <laughs> yeah, that I, just as I'm, good. I'm going to go as I'm going to head as close as I can into the direction of Graxus. Okay, your intent is to get to to Graxus, yeah. and try to swing at him. Try right? and so swing at a, him. Make a make a perception check for me. Perception. Okay, I'm not terrible at those. Uh, Seventeen. Oh, uh, plus two, so nineteen. Yeah, okay. You're able to navigate the butterflies okay. easily and get to your axis. <laughs> okay. So your attack is not at advantage or disadvantage from the obscurity because he's also effectively blinded. Okay. So it's it's like a canceled out effect for melee attack. Okay. Uh, I'll just yell, surprise! <laughs> 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 a 
he oh he did Ooh. no because it, it would all cancel out. He attacked recklessly, but again, right, yeah, right, yeah. Okay. advantage and advantage all at play here. So well, it's, it's all um, through. And by the way, I'd like to think that Kiros is saying, "I'm surprised." <laughs> like this is all very unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise butterflies. Um, uh, my first attack is gonna whiff with a natural one. I was rolling too good too too long. With bless. A natural one, though. <laughs> I mean, I do have bardic inspiration. I can try and build up to a natural one in the deep four. Let's see. Quick, make a butterfly pun. <laughs> natural fucking twenty. Oh nice. no, that's my boy. beautiful, beautiful. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I was about to ask, do you have a reaction? But you don't. You're dead. Um, or you're unconscious. Yeah. <laughs> dying. Dying. Mm-hmm. dying. Uh, my crit damage is 14 slashing damage. 14. That bloodies him. Oh, great. Nice. Um, He's already bloody with my blood. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> now he mixes it with his own. That's, uh, I, now we're blood brothers. Okay. He should want to rise me from the dead. I, oh. I am going to be petty and roar at him because my roar is better than his yeah, stupid yeah. lion shield. Oh, like that. Right. Does that is there a mechanical effect? Yes. That? So as a bonus action, uh, creatures of my choice. I'm just going to choose Graxus. Although I'm thinking about Kira too. Graxis. You should uh, choose. You should choose me. I'm. I'm dying. I will. You choose the butterflies. Do they become afraid of you? I'm kind of hoping <laughs> that, yeah, that the butterflies will all scatter because of my roar. But any any enemy I pick uh, makes a DC 14 wisdom save, or they are frightened of me until the end. The end of my next turn. Okay. DC 14 wisdom. Yeah. All right. So, Probably should have done this first. Uh, I'm not he smart. rolled a natural 18. Okay. So. Cool. Oh, are you, are you intending to scare the butterflies? Arr, I hate the butterflies. That's, that's a lot of individual. Yeah, uh, now roll for each individual. I could do yeah. <laughs> It's 600 of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's yeah. doable. You can do that in D&D do, Beyond. It's do you want me to make a check? D&D Beyond, right? Time yeah, make, six, make a mob check. I'd love, I'd love for these butterflies not to be in my face, but. <laughs> Well, they rolled a natural 19, so they're still. Yeah. <laughs> One lands yeah. on my snout, and I'm just like, "Yeah, you mock me, As butterfly!" You're roaring, yeah, get close. <laughs> Where's okay. your king First now, team. butterflies? All right, at initiative, the best eight, saving throw that's ever been made. Andromeda, <laughs> you are amongst a sea of butterflies. You are literally covered. Can't see anything. Yeah, I'm trying. Can't see anything. Which is not good for me because I'm a ranged uh, player. Yeah. Uh, no. Yep. Andromeda, aim for my voice. <laughs> <laughs> Dead shot. <laughs> <clears throat> I suppose you could you know. take a random shot into the room through butterflies if you really wanted to try. At least we all saw where you ended up before the butterflies, so. Mm-hmm. You're kind of a. <laughs> You could, you could, you could attack at disadvantage if you like, but if you miss, I mean, I have my you never know what your GM's going to do. But he had he recklessly attacked. Or are you just going to say that the sheer uh, cloud of butterflies is yeah, enough no, to, the cloud yeah. of butterflies yeah, yeah, okay. poses disadvantage? I am on your side, but uh... yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so if I do my Amazonian battle cry, which gives me advantage on attacks against creatures of my favorite enemy, would I be able to cancel Ooh. that out? Yes. I would say yes if you use that. I would say then... <laughs> that it gives you the intuition to know basically almost where he's at in the room, and you yeah. can just make a standard attack. Or you oh, like a battle cry then... clears a path of the butterflies. <laughs> yeah, the butterflies do clear just <laughs> enough, and you can like see there's an <laughs> there's a the guided shield, arrow. The arrow shield path roars, here. then Kiros roars, and now we have the uh, battle yeah. cry. Trifecta of, of battle cries, yes, right? Indeed. And... How long do these butterflies last? So uh, I will. Sorry. So straight roll. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Five. Okay. So that scene now we want to so, fireball uh, them all up. So uh, Andromeda, uh, Andromeda will give like a sort of sort of pain, frustrated battle cry. And butterflies will... do scatter from you. 
Can you use her butt? Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, which is actually pretty good. That's, uh... What's a D4? With my bless. Yeah, that's like a dirty 20. Oh, that's a hit. Yeah. Oh, yes. I mean, he's got a high AC, but that's a hit. <clears throat> And that is 10 points of damage. Oh, okay. He's not down, but he's starting to... And I get another attack. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oops. So, do I do a straight roll on this one, too? Mm-hmm. Ah, that's not as good. Uh... 14. Four, uh, 14, that, that's... Bounces off of his armor. Okay. Okay. All good, though. Got are one! You gonna, <laughs> you, you're just going to stay where you're at amongst the butterflies, Andromeda? Ah, uh, I guess so, if I'm just stuck with a bunch of butterflies. Yeah. Is, is Nicodemus just going to try to hang out and <laughs> flop around with the butterflies? Or? <laughs> he's, just, he's just trying to blow them away. <laughs> yeah, okay. Alright. Check this uh, out. Naya. I have a very stupid way to try and get rid of these butterflies. We'll call Sadie. He might come uh, <laughs> <laughs> No, okay, Sadie I'm going to jump back over the trap. Jar. One and, at a time. <laughs> and just kind of Oh, this is this isn't as nice as I thought it would be. It's it's like being attacked by a pillow. Stop. I'm going to walk about 10-ish feet in, trying to remember where everybody was uh, when I last saw them. And I would like to call upon the winds of fate and cast spirit guardians within this room. Oh, <laughs> and I'm counting God, the right. butterflies as an enemy. <laughs> First of all, I need a dexterity saving throw for your trap. Okay. <laughs> but I jumped over it. Come on. <laughs> With the butterflies? You... Okay, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> They, like, 13? landed on the trap. <laughs> it was a... 13? Oh, that's a save, yeah. Okay. okay. All right, so it, it, you trigger it, but you, like, <laughs> nimbly just yeah. just get out of the way, and it's like, snap. You're like, oh. Ooh. Or I think I've got it, and a butterfly lands on it. And it... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, so now you're right. in there. Uh, and then I'm going to cast Spirit, Guard. Spirit Guardians. <laughs> God. Just a blitter counting these butterflies. <laughs> These goddamn butterflies is my villain. If just, nothing else, I, the only thing that's going in my head right now is like butterfly milkshake. Like there's a blender, <laughs> yeah, just, <laughs> but it's still just as distracting because it's just a bunch of <laughs> dust and wings. Yeah, this okay. is why. This is why oh, you're doomed. It's worse. It's worse. Yeah. So what yeah. is like in, this was in one of the prophecies. You were seen yeah. like shredding. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? It didn't make a lot of sense at the time. <laughs> but now, you're like, oh! Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What What do I need here, Marty? A saving? Save, save? Uh, yes. It will be a, I believe it's wisdom, actually. 300. Wisdom saving Six, throw? 600? Yeah, hold on. Wait. The right, way the scrolls is occasionally the pain. Let's do the butterflies first. Oh, wait. Sorry, I'm looking at spirit, spiritual weapon. But I should be looking at it. It is a wisdom. Yep. Ah, <laughs> uh, they rolled a natural two. Nice. <laughs> so the butterflies are no more. They're 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 long gone. <laughs> Graxis actually rolled high. He has a nineteen on his wisdom save. Okay. So he will still take the damage, but I don't think is he not slowed on a failed save the creature <clears throat> takes the half of it. No, on a failed save the creature takes three D eight radiant damage. I think it's oh, on a successful save, the creature takes half as much. Half. Half damage. Okay. I think if it yeah. starts uh, its turn there, it's slowed. No matter what, I think. Yeah, when you cast a spell, you... <clears throat> when the creature enters the area for the destruction... Where's the slow effect? Anyway, it, yeah, his his movement should be half. You're right. I don't think it... I think it just halves the damage. Um, halves the damage. Okay. So You're slowed. Is the flavor of the slow, like the spirit guardians are pressing against you or <laughs> holding you back or something? Yeah. The That's winds cool. of fate... Ooh, that was a very good roll. Uh, that's 18 um, okay. radiant damage, I'm pretty sure. He takes 9? Yes, it's either radiant or necrotic. He takes 9? Is that right? Because he saved, he takes half? Oh. 
Yes. Is that right? I don't. Okay. I have the short-term memory of a butterfly. That's the <laughs> that's the side effect of this uh, spell. Sorry, I right. did forget. The butterflies are each taking eighteen radiant yeah. damage. Graxus has taken nine. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Boy, he is he is not doing well. Okay. Uh, um, butterfly dust everywhere. Is he dazzled Everybody's covered by this, in butterfly like, dust? <laughs> this exploding sparks of butterflies. I mean, isn't he yeah. like going? What the hell's going on? Yeah. My yep. day started out full of dead meat, and now it's going to shit. And so you're saying he's, he's yeah, his speed is halved, right? His speed is halved. Okay. All right. Is that it for Naya? It sure is. I think I think that's enough. Okay. Nerex, you need your first death, death save. save sir. I'm blessed I get to add a d4, right? Uh, I think, it's a saving so. Throw, I think right? so. I'm concentrating yeah. on the spell, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so... Oh God! So Wait. that was yes. No, I hate Do to I be remember? that player. Are you concentrating on Blaster Spirit Guardians? Ooh, oh. that's right. Mm. That's right. I'm so I'm so used to being so clever. Uh, yes, you're right. I have dropped the uh, uh, the concentration on Bless. You are correct. No more Bless. <laughs> oh, I have okay. one inspiration, and I'm going to use it because I rolled a seven. Oh, okay. So. But I rolled a nine this time, so I have one failure. Uh oh. Okay. All right, one failure. Yep. Okay. Uh, Graxis. <clears throat> well. So Kiros is next to him. Nerex is on the ground beneath him. Mm -hmm. Naya is just in the room, and Dromeda is in the room off to the other side. He's, uh, let me make sure that I'm reading this right. Isn't it Kira's turn? Uh, <laughs> she has to she's do. after Grax. No, yeah, she goes before me <laughs> after him. He is going to bonus action, boom, lion roar again. Everybody? No. I'm yeah, dead. This one's what did I tell you to sure. make before? Was it a con, con save, save for Thunder Wave? Yeah, con save. <clears throat> oh. Ooh. Oh, terrible. Garbage. Why did I do that? So, uh, Nerex, that adds another failure for you. Two, oh, actually. I'm dead. <laughs> no, that's critical. No, that's right? not crit. Uh, no. No, uh, crit. So, okay, yeah. if you get melee stabbed while you're already down, that's Yeah, because that's like a critical uh, rob. Okay. spell attack. I see. Okay. It's not a melee attack. Got obviously. one left. Yep, so, you're... <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. uh, Andromeda, what'd you get? Uh, 21. Oh, that's a save. You only take three thunder damage. Uh, Kiros, what'd you get? Uh, I used my bardic inspiration and still only got a 14. And bless? Bless is gone. Oh, right. Sorry. I have the short-term <laughs> memory of a butterfly. <laughs> right. <laughs> so long as okay. I have this spell up. You got, so you, you missed one butterfly and I'm kind of like, no, get it. <laughs> <laughs> <Just> thunder waved. <laughs> You take seven damage, okay. seven thunder damage, Gross, and you're pushed away from Graxus and into some of the hanging meat. Yeah, that's what I was trying to avoid. Um, and Naya? A four. Oh, well, you also take seven thunder damage, and you're tossed into some hanging meat as well. <laughs> I'm still above my normal maximum of hit points, however. Okay, that was his bonus action. Now... I maintain concentration on the Spirit Guardians, by the way. Okay. I got so a 13 his... on my concentration check. Yes. So on his turn, what, what does he have to do? Keep making wisdom saving throws? Or does yes. He take damage? <laughs> oh, okay. He, <laughs> <laughs> right, he gets a wisdom. Get so yep. he only rolled an 11 this time. Okay. Let me... Is that at the start of his turn? Uh, it is if he starts his turn within my zone of going and effing himself. Uh, oh, but I rolled well, very poorly. Oh, I was going to say if it oh. kills him, we would take that damage back because then he wouldn't be able to use a shield. But what'd you um, get? Nine. Uh, not quite. Yeah, I rolled he's rather got, poorly on that one. He's got five hit points left. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so boom, the shield goes off, and mm -hmm. um, with his last attack. He's going to step on Nerex's face. Yep. <laughs> you knew it. 
I'm dead. Uh, That's why I'm Kira's cursed. <laughs> uh, Ira, is, you need her to help? Or? Ira? Um, no. Can you do oh, anything? God. You've got a diamond. <laughs> Uh, she can uh, wand of she, wonder with him if I so long. <laughs> she uh, she's thinking about using magic. Maybe it'll help. Uh, go ahead, Kuros. You're up. <laughs> she's gonna delay it. What Kuros does first? What the, I see. I'm gonna what? The, I have attack. Go <laughs> nineteen. Nineteen is what we call in some circles a power score. Let's see if I can roll more than five damage. I, it's literally impossible. Ten, or nine, slashing damage. N- nine damage. How do you kill Graxus the Minotaur as he steps on your friend's face? Uh, <laughs> I would like to... <laughs> that's awful. I would like to pick up his axe and just throw it at him like as hard as I can. <laughs> Cut that's, off his stupid it's, shield. It's, it's the magical warm. axe of Xander. Yeah, oh, I uh, want that back, but <laughs> it, it <laughs> no, actually, no, throw, I think I think it does extra damage against titans and giants and maybe monstrosities. I'd have to look. Well, it's probably really effective against yeah. Graxus. Fantastic. Great. Okay. What's a, what's a good ending? Oh. <laughs> All right. So hmm. let's let's deal with Nerex first as you, right. as you down Graxus and he dies, his shield clatter, his magical shield clattering to the side of him, his magical ax being thrown at him and clattering to the other side. And there, there lay Nerex. My so, liar laying in my, my angel wings all is, laid out under my head. <laughs> this is where the player characters on the death of the first one get to find out that there's special things that happen. But, can I pick up his poor little bird body and hold it? <laughs> yeah, my head, oh, my head, uh, my head just flopped no, down. No, 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 it's sad. I no, it's weak, sad. Weak neck muscles no I, I prop it up. It's like rolling That's around. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, definitely, fine. I definitely scramble to my feet and run over there, but. Yeah. Sorry, I was oh. going to try and make it to you before the butterflies became such a there's, problem. There's I'm all these hero. dead butterflies. Everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> it's a this metaphor. <laughs> yes, Nerex laying dead amongst all the dead butterfly dust. Um, okay, so this is appropriate, actually. All right. So Nerex is laying there. Everybody's sad, and you get, or you get are a, they? You get a well. You get a bam. There's a teleport. In the <coughs> it's Damon. Oh. And Damon takes My a look buddy. at the situation. And uh, reaches into his robes and produces a scroll. Okay. And begins to cast a spell over Nerix's fallen corpse. Nerix, you rise up and you are once again alive. Hooray! He <laughs> says his, um, his responsibility and his promise to your ancestor is now complete. Oh. Hmm. The debt has been paid. Okay. And just as quickly as he came in, he has teleported away once again. But it's really lucky for him that I happened to die so he could get out of this obligation. <laughs> <laughs> and he's not like a zombie or a lich, right? It's Nerex. He teleports away and is I, like, yes! <laughs> yes. <laughs> he's like, I'm out of here! <laughs> Like flipping so, off everybody. <laughs> every character in the Odyssey of the Dragon Lords campaign has some type of hidden divine boon, typically triggered by death. Hmm. And that was the one for the cursed one. But wow. now that it's used up, I'm screwed. The next time it happens, there's nothing left. <laughs> Clear it, Kira. Right. No more butterflies. <laughs> they only bring death and destruction. <laughs> Okay. So let's talk about the uh, let's talk about these magic items here really quickly. Yeah, I I, I will appropriately fuss over Nerex uh, oh, kind of oh. com- coming oh, to grips with the fact that like what a roller coaster that was. Yeah, I'm trying to brush all the <laughs> I'm trying to brush all the obliterated 
butterflies off of you, Derek. So just, nah, <laughs> they, they, these, they, they weren't here when you died, if that I makes it any better. I, I, I thank you. I, they were strange. Alive. They were alive like you. <laughs> <laughs> this must be my curse to not be able to rest. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, uh, because we were going to a necropolis, by the way, I did prepare to speak with dead. And if we didn't have a miracle raised dead, I was going to ask Nerex if he wanted to rest or not <laughs> among the five <laughs> questions we got of like, do you want to be helped? Because we, we just run around this uh, place look, we can level up. Free tomb. We just found you a free tomb. Damon just fulfilled his debt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. Bam. Damon's packing his desk. He's like yeah. filling up a box. He's, <laughs> he's like, baby, pack the bags. We're going yeah. to Miami. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, okay. So uh, the Golden Shield of Vulcan has been located. Nice. And what's the axe's name? Is it the, oh, the Axe of Xander, which is a plus one great axe. Dabs. Take it. You obviously know how to use it against the guy who <laughs> cut his head off. Yeah. Nah, I can't use the shield, though. So You can't use shields? I can use shields, but it, the great axe is two handed, so. Oh, of course. I use, right. I use, yeah, I use double handed weapons. Well, so. Not right. for the minute part, wasn't, but. <laughs> yeah, which is rad. But. Yeah. Uh, but. Um, Andromeda, you could use it, right? The shield. A shield. Okay, you're a ranger. You isn't that part of your gear? It's an Amazon. Uh, Wonder Woman I can has one. Use it. Yeah, she's a lot of yeah. bow stuff though. So that's true. Yeah. Another two hander. But if you have to get into melee, I mean, plus two to your AC. So Andy, it's. So a... I would need something else beside a quarter staff. Right. <laughs> like a short sword or some shit. It's actually a sentient yeah. plus one great axe. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, good. Sentient? You can talk to me. <laughs> um, it's, um, it, it doesn't <laughs> communicate directly, but it, uh, it communicates empathically by transmitting emotion to the creature carrying it. Hmm. Okay. It and watches it, you when you're sleeping. It's a pet axe. Its purpose was to destroy giants and titans. So when you hit one of those creatures with a weapon, it deals an extra 3d6 force damage. I don't Ooh. like giants or titans. I speak giant even. Okay. That's <laughs> rad. I love it. And that's uh, when uh, it communicates with you because it'll transmit a tremendous sense of satisfaction whenever you kill a giant <laughs> or titan. And actually, if you kill a giant or titan with it, you then heal 1d6 hit points when that happens. Oh, nice. Oh, that's cool. Which is interesting, but... If you if you search for it and find it and add it to your character okay. sheet, great. Or if you need me to do that, let me know. I'll see if I can. I'll see um, if I can find I it. I can use way. shields. I do feel so far that I've been well rewarded by this campaign already. But I would like to be able to thunder push people the hell away from me since they. Can you might be the me. only person who can use it. If, yeah. I mean, and, who not, or I mean, as far as fitting with the with the brand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Although Andromeda, if you do want it, I will. It's yours. Because you could also use to push mm. people away, so you can still shoot them with a bow. But I don't know how. True. Flavor versus, um, what's allowed within the rules. Uh, I don't know where they stand with long bows and shields. So let me tell you about the shield. Maybe that'll maybe that'll uh, influence who it maybe goes sure. to, or you can decide later. So the golden shield has a lion engraved on its front, three mm -hmm. times per day. The user can cast a bonus or use a bonus action to cast a spell thunder wave. Uh, the spell is accompanied by a mighty roar of a lion, and the lion carving will animate. Uh, the severed head of any medium or smaller creature can be attached to the front of the shield by wedging it in the lion's <laughs> teeth. <laughs> the user can then spend an action to activate the head and will gain the benefit of one of the creature's traits for five rounds. So spell if you take a... of any kind, though, will not work. You can't gain spell cast. So, uh, so if you take a dragon's head, and put it in. Oh no, the medium creature. So well, it'd have to be a so, small one, right? Yeah, oh, a medium-sized dragon's head would fit. Mm -hmm. So wormling yeah. head, right? And then you get one of the dragon traits. Yep, that's pretty cool. Well, so it's like dragon fear or mm -hmm. breath weapon or sure. that could be really boss. 
Yeah. Uh, that can I only the be flavor. used uh, okay. once per day, and once it's wow. used, the head disintegrates into ash. So it's basically a one-time, once-a-day thing. Sure. Okay. Um, but while holding the shield, you also get advantage on initiative rolls and perception checks. Wow. Ooh. And you That's can also shield. understand and speak the draconic language. Oh, wow. Oh, that might come in handy coming up. I, um, I, this all go. seems very extreme to Naya. I think this belongs with our future dragon lord over there. Because <laughs> isn't the gifted one? Isn't the upper end of that uh, that you eventually get a dragon or something? You're going to be swimming in companions uh, over there eventually. Yeah, could be. Possibly. So yeah, I. I no contest. I got the mithril shield from earlier um, that I can hold on to. It's pretty dope. That's a that's a that's a badass shield. <laughs> yeah, can, yeah. Can I love the flavor of the lion head eating the other heads. Yeah, I just imagine he's like crunching it slowly yeah. while you're fighting, <laughs> <laughs> sucking on it like an all day, like he's gonna stop, stop. He's just like, uh, oh, <clears throat> yeah. oh, you want me to roar? Hang on. He like sticks it in his corner of his mouth. Roar. Goes back to chewing on it. Okay, cool. All right. Um, there you go. That's the two. That's two of the three dragon lords weapons that you're here to claim. There is oh. one more, so you still have to continue towards the yeah. real tomb of Xander. Okay. Are we ready okay. to do that? Or are we gonna? Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. That's definitely. Thing. That's uh, well, let's see. How revived am I? <laughs> By the way, uh, am I fully as healed or long rest? Oh. oh, great. Oh, so I have my spell nice. slots already, too. Yay. Does yeah, that mean that the um, aid goes away? Because if I had taken a long rest, eight hours would have passed. That makes sense. Yeah. 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 I think your death would have canceled so, out that aid. <laughs> right, right. Absolutely. Um, cool. It probably kept me from being killed outright, the aid. Um, who knows? Great. Okay, cool. Okay. All right. Um, all right, so now you continue through the labyrinth sort of at your own pace <laughs> without being uh, having the threat of have a Graxus the Minotaur running you down. So you take some time and easily make it to the tomb of Xander. Okay. When you arrive, it's a large uh, barrel-vaulted chamber. Uh, it's decorated with bronze fittings that are all polished, and they flicker like gold in the dim red light of a single torch. And you notice that this torch is an ever-burning torch, just sitting there, waiting for you to grasp it and use it. And the center of the room is dominated by a black marble sarcophagus. It's engraved with the likeness of the Dragon Lord Xander. And just being here, you can almost feel like there's whispers that break the silence, almost as if there's solemn voices of the past, um, sort of uh, extolling the deeds of the man that is interred here. Right. Uh, so the sarcophagus, this tomb lie in front of you. What would you like to do, folks? Let's try to open it. What do you think? <clears throat> we'll make sure with Kira. Kira, maybe you can be helpful for once today. Um, oh, you need me to cast a spell? Roll a d100, Naya. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> She's like, here, pick a card, any card. No. Uh... <laughs> yes, the Naya, 68. how can I be helpful? Oh, you actually <laughs> wanted to cast the spell? Uh, Holy shit, I just saw it come up in the chain. <laughs> I just cool. said, I was like, oh no. Uh, 68, you said? Mm -hmm. Oh, um. Pick left or right. Oh, oh I hate it. Left. Left. Uh, you've just had enlarged cast on yourself. <laughs> <laughs> it could have been reduced, but you chose enlarge. Here, I don't know how long that lasts. <laughs> just I think it's like glaring down oh, it's a as if oh, nothing's happening. Minute. Kira, I was going to ask, is this sarcophagus 
cursed. <laughs> oh, no, it's not. Thank you. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to loom just gonna here scoot, for a minute. I'm just going to scooch by in that. Just going to scooch. Yeah, 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 you're sorry. Like, do you want to like, like, open the, the sarcophagus? <laughs> you're really strong. I'm skirt my knees one way just so we can get okay. past. Just, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Just glaring just, daggers down at Kira. <laughs> Thanks. Do you just like flick the lid off with your finger? I, I think it makes it a lot easier to move the lid. Actually, that's your... Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so um, you, you open the lid, and Xander lies there. And um, actually, when you open it, his, his corpse rises up. And he's like, oh. oh. I've <laughs> been sleeping in that position for way too long. Uh, he, um, he, actually, he actually, he silently rises up. <laughs> and he, um, he takes a look over all of you. And he takes the breastplate that adorns his body and sort of takes it off and sets it outside of the tomb in front of it, outside of the sarcophagus, right in front of it, as if he's giving it to the group. But he also takes the crown that's on his head and he lifts it off. And as he's looking over each of you, he seems as almost if he's disappointed and he just sort of sighs and shrugs and hands it to Andromeda. Oh. (laughs) And then he silently lays back down goes back to rest. Oh, I'll, I'll put the top back on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Good night. That's... Sorry. Was, was he like... Yeah. Was, how... Was he visibly undead or did he look okay? Yeah, he looked a lot like... Um, who was it that you fought at the beginning? Was it Telemach? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Basically, he was... He's like a white. Okay. Yep. So gotten two more items yeah all right so the breastplate is the breastplate of mitros it is a uh it is a breastplate with plus one bonus to ac and plus one bonus to charisma whoa and giants and titans have disadvantage on their attacks against an opponent wearing this breastplate what's it made of uh that's a good question it's probably probably bronze made of magic yeah good answer <laughs> well, it could be made of mithril no i think it is bronze it would probably be bronze um oh and the crown the crown of the dragon lord Ooh. andromeda the crown grants you the ability to prepare the following spells Bond of the Dragon Lords and Dirge of the Dragon Lords. Both of those are in the player's guide that I sent to you guys. Mm-hmm. Um, you are a spellcaster because you're con- you're a ranger, mm-hmm. so you're considered a spellcaster. So you are granted those two spells that you can prepare. And once you cast it, you must finish a long... Oh, no, no, that's for non-spellcasters. Material components are still required for both spells. Okay, so you've unlocked two spells with the crown. Mm-hmm. Cool. And you've completed your third great labor. Mm. Your fame goes to five. Fame five. Great. <coughs> um, I think I'm going to keep you at level five, probably just for the start of Act Two. Okay. okay. Um, and yeah, we just only... leveled up recently. I mean, yep. it was not like and. That. One other thing happens while you're in the tomb before you leave. Andromeda, you hear somebody whispering to you. And it's actually coming from your a- amulet. Oh. Hello, Hello there, dear. Destiny it, Locket. It's your grandmother. <laughs> Hello. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Can you, hear, can you hear me? Is it coming through? I can hear you, yeah. <laughs> Am I it's muted? Hard. <laughs> it's hard to access you sometimes. But thankfully you're in that tomb where you can hear the whispers so I can get through. Listen, I don't have much time, dear, but my name's Aggie. I'm all sorts of things. Oh no. Depending on who you are. Oh no. But I'm I'm best known for being a witch, dear, if you didn't know about me. A soul shamaness. Some call me. 
Anyway, I'm here to help you out. But I need you to help me out too, okay? You're destined to resurrect the Dragon Lords of old. But that also means we need to get revenge on Sidon for killing me. We had a bit of a tryst. Didn't end well. God. Anyway, I'm glad we could talk. I've got to go. I don't have much time. But I'm proud of you. I'll reach out again when I can. Okay. Thank you, Grandma. Can we hear that or was it just you? No, just Andromeda. Okay. Is, oh, you okay. can hear thank you, Grandma. I think. <laughs> right. <laughs> Is huh? Andromeda a dead giant baby? Answer my question. Mmm. You've got a bunch of shit that detects giants now, so <laughs> now's a good time to ask that. <laughs> How satisfied does the axe feel about Andromeda? <laughs> it has to kill her first mm. to feel the satisfaction. Okay. Uh, that's it. You've successfully completed the third great labor. I imagine you're going to go back to Astoria at some point. Yeah. So... We'll do just before we end today. We'll just do a little bit of a peek into the start of Act Two. So back in Astoria, you're celebrating your third great labor because that's the way Pythor rolls, right? So you're probably in like you know uh, his audience chamber, and the drinks are flowing freely, and uh, there's a guard that runs in. He says, uh, <clears throat> "King, sir." In the skies, there's something coming. So everybody rushes oh, out and you no. look up. Butterflies. And in the distant skies, you can make out three winged forms yeah, great. approaching you. Dragons. Cool, cool and great. Sun shimmering dragons. off their scales. And you realize dragons. that they're copper dragons. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you've heard rumors and you've actually seen dragons of Mitros. They're far more splendid, these copper dragons, than anything you could have imagined. And they're ridden by red-cloaked knights. High-ranking centurions from the city of Mitros. And the dragons descend and touch down a dozen, a, a dozen or so yards away from you. And the knights, all three knights with shields and swords, they dismount and they approach you. They have a determined look in their eyes as if they've been sent here on a mission. They clearly mean no harm to you, though. Their leader steps forward, and he introduces himself, and he says, I am Tarkon. We have come on behalf of King Acastus to escort you to his palace. He wishes an audience with the Chosen. And that's where we'll end today's session. Nice. For our six-month hiatus, when we're back <laughs> in November after all of these holidays. <laughs> It's more like a half a month. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's oh, like maybe yeah. a yeah, maybe a full one, but could be. We'll see. We'll see. Um, this that's is it, exciting. Uh, wow, a lot happened. I died. A lot happened. A, <laughs> did, did I see anything special when I died? By the way, hmm. anything nice? I don't know. We'll have to consider that. Hmm. Hmm. Side on glowering at me <laughs> <She's> through the <laughs> mists. Gotcha. It'd probably be Lucaria <laughs> if it was anybody. No, probably. Sure, sure. She thinks curses are hilarious. Oh, right, and, and yeah, she's she's dead. She thinks they're her... she thinks they're Lutherius. Well... Yeah, we we might have to do a, we might have to do a. I'll give that some thought. Maybe there's a little bit of a flashback we could do to what you saw whenever you sure. Died. Cool. The good whispered, way to start the second season. The whispered time, right? <laughs> the flashback that they didn't show the audience first season because they thought about it on the break. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> right. Um, cool, cool. So this is a mid-season break, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, cool. mid-season break. That sounds right, 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 right. That's good. And then, and then we come back for sweeps week. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's right. We'll have some well, cool guest star. <laughs> yes, Betty White's going to be one as Aggie. Uh, wow! <laughs> what a I guess. would love. I would love if we could get Betty White. Can we work sure. on that guy? Oh my god! I bet she'd do it. She seems cool. Mm -hmm. um, wow. So two of us have crowns now too, as well. That's true. I've got the Trog crown. 
<laughs> whatever it was That's, before he wore it. I mean, it's I really a headband of intellect. It right, was, right. But, but being you know, fashioned it, as a crown. It right, did but. make him the smartest guy in the room. So it is true. Uh, maybe there was one guy who was smarter, who was just staying out of the way. He's still uh, lurking down there somewhere. He's like, I'm not getting on that elevator. <laughs> Yeah, he actually pushed the button and the elevator came back yeah. up. And it was, right. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh, right, man. they're like, no room, take the next one. He's like, oh, man. <laughs> he, he dodged the bullet. I told them there was a weight limit. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right. Okay. Very good. Thank you all. Thank I'm you for we got running. The first act. That Me was too. Fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. And as alluded, we're going to have a little bit of a break. So follow us on Twitter if you want to know when the next episode will be. Mm -hmm. Right. (laughs) That's it. I can control when we leave. Have a good good day. Bye. Uh, (laughs) Like, subscribe, (laughs) click a bell, all that. Oh, and Wednesday is Task Force Unlikely. Join us, won't you? Yeah. Oh, yes. Please do. Hooray. Mm-hmm. <sighs>